Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's episode of The Learning Nook. Again, we are in a different spot because I am moving out of my apartment, but we will be back to normal soon. This is a super special episode because I had a great guest who was able to come on, my professor Colleen Hamuth, who works in social studies in the education of human services here at Central Michigan University. So I'm super excited for you guys to meet her and talk a little bit about social studies in the classroom. So to start, you'll notice today's book is not one that you typically think that it would be social studies, but it actually is. Talking about ourself, diversity, family and communities, all combines into what social studies really is. So I have a couple of different resources I'll link here at the end for you to find great social studies books for your classroom, but today I would just like to stick to talking about what diversity is. So I hope you enjoy talking with my professor and learning a little bit about diversity. So have a great day and I'll see you guys at the end, okay? Hello there, my name is Colleen Hometh and I am a professor at Central Michigan University in the College of Education and I work with pre-student teachers. Um, I have been teaching in classrooms um, for 35 years, anywhere from kindergarten and pre-K all the way through middle school and um, some experience with high schoolers as well. I am very happy to be reading a story to you today that is really um, appropriate for our times. Um, the name of the story is Diversity Is, written by Melissa Ewers and illustrated by Laura May. So let's get started, shall we? Diversity is. Have you ever heard of the word diversity? Diversity simply means differences. The more differences there are, the more diversity there is. You and I are going to look at how people can be different in many ways. You and I are going to look at diversity among us and in the whole world. But first, Imagine if everyone were exactly the same. Life would be boring. It's a good thing each of us is different. Diversity makes life fun, colorful, and amazing. Some differences are easy to see and simple to understand. But some differences are harder to see or difficult to understand. You may not even like or agree with the differences. Diversity can be as simple as you and me liking different things. Hobbies, food, sports, nature. What is your favorite book? Hobby, music, sport, color, movie, or food. Do you like pepperoni? pineapple, or anchovies on your pizza. Yuck if you said pineapple. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. I don't think anchovies do either. <laughs> Diversity can also be how a person looks, different from other people. What are some differences you can see? Eye color, skin color, gender, size and shape, physical disability, personal style, age, Boy or girl? Brown, blue, or green eyes? Short or tall? Or somewhere in between? I have brown eyes. What color are yours? Some diversity may be harder to see. The differences can even be inside a person. Cultural background, political beliefs, religious beliefs, mental disability, language, and social background. Can you think of any more differences? Hmm. Holy cow, there can be a lot of diversity. Maybe there are differences you have never seen or even thought of before. But even though each of us is different, we are equally important. No matter if someone has a different color of skin than you, uses a wheelchair, speaks a different language, or lives differently than you do. Everyone deserves to be loved, respected, and shown kindness. You want to be treated that way, right? But sometimes that doesn't happen. 
When someone thinks about or treats a person unfairly just because they are different, that is prejudice. That is not okay. Imagine if you were the only person with blue eyes. No one else had blue eyes. Everyone without blue eyes gets ice cream and has a party every Friday. You don't get ice cream and can't attend the party because you have blue eyes. You would want to be treated fairly and have people be nice to you. You would want people to think you are equally important. What other differences could make you feel left out? Blonde hair? An accent? Brown skin? Walking with crutches? Some differences may make you feel a little uncomfortable or you may not even understand. That is okay. Maybe a difference is new to you or you might need time to get used to a person's difference. It is okay to ask questions to help you understand differences. Sometimes you might not like or agree with someone's differences. But remember, no matter how different someone is from you, both of you are equally important. Diversity is amazing because it allows you to like a different language, switch up your personal style, expose your mind to new ideas, meet new friends. Oh, and you can also learn awesome new things, discover music, books, dancing and art, try yummy new foods, explore new hobbies. Hmm, I bet you can think of more. In fact, we should celebrate what makes us different. What makes you different and unique? See, diversity is amazing. Your differences make you, you. And you are amazing, awesome, and unique. Thank you so much, Professor, again for coming on The Learning Nook. I really appreciate you being able to educate all of our followers. And going forward, I hope you guys can use this as a resource for your classroom or for your children at home. So I hope you all have a great week. Again, I'll be linking some stuff here at the end for you guys to check out. And of course, this will not be the last episode on social studies that The Learning Nook will have. So we will talk more again soon. See you all later. Thanks. All right, friends, so teaching social studies with picture books is one of the easiest ways for children to grasp the understanding of what social studies is. So there are a few books listed here. One specifically that I like the most are these National Geographic Kids ones. It kind of teaches about each person individually and give them a lot of information. Another great resource is Henry's Freedom Box. This is a true story from the Underground Railroad that can give people a lot of information about what happened and kids can relate to on a different kind of standpoint. And then also this last book, So You Want to Be President, is a fun way for kids to learn about government. So I hope this helps and you can also research on Google some more information on social studies. Have a great week!